welcome back all to Mud Stomp's Hardcore Series, Episode 10. So, moving on from last episode, I decided to get into some quick projects, and today's project is, for starters, to build a wool farm, an automated wool farm, I should say. I've got plenty of sheep over there, probably more than I need by far for this plan, but the idea is that I want to get into... Um, yeah, just having it run in the background basically and end up with a lot of wool and I'm going to use a lot of that wool for different creations. So yeah, it's basically just getting into that and trying to um, sort that out. So I've got this setup that I'm using. Um, there's a YouTube channel I found that does this. I'll put the link in the description when I um, find it again if you want to copy the idea. But the basic gist of it is you have a sheep in front of a, I think it's a dispenser. Um, I always forget the two and the sheep um, eats the grass to grow the wool back that gets detected by an observer and then the observer um, runs a dot of redstone behind this and then this will be caused to activate with some shears and that'll shear the sheep and then there's a hopper minecart underneath the sheep's dirt that sucks the wool down and you're back to square one again so that's the idea anyway um, it's sort of, yeah, I, I'm still trying to sort of figure out uh, a lot of it in a sense, um, but I think that's the basic gist of it. And today's probably not going to be massive decoration day as far as all that's concerned. It's probably going to be a bit more of um, just getting it set up and making sure it works. Oops. <laughs> um, and then from there we can sort of, we can go from there. So, yeah, um, that's basically gist of it. So anyway, let me get this... Uh, going and we will see where we end up in a few moments and and so forth so yeah be right back
Alrighty, so that's basically that done. I skipped forward a bit there just because of the fact that it was getting a bit monotonous, but hopefully you enjoyed the process. As you might have noticed in the video too, my hoppers are lined up in the wrong spot, so I'm having to move that forward in a moment as well. But anyway, so just to see what's going on up here, we're chucking shears in every single one of the dispensers. Um, so yeah, fortunately with the iron farm going, shears are definitely not an issue at the moment, but yeah. Um, getting those done really, really nice and easy, basically. And then that's basically it. So after that, um, it'll be moving in day. Get the sheep in there. I've already put one in and tested it out. But um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, what do you call it? I can't think. Anyway, you know, you get the idea. So anyway, let me get the rest of these shears in and we'll get going with some sheep movements. Okay, that's that task done, so wool incoming. But for now, task number two for today is to make a honey slash honeycomb farm. So I'm copying the design I've used previously. Um, it just seems to work pretty well. I'm not, you know, big on the automation and all that, so I like getting up close and personal with my bees. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna get this set up. It's just gonna basically be in this little tiny area here, so not even that much of a size footprint um, for it to take up but it's a really nice little to do and yeah so let me get that going and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done.
So that's that basically. Uh, not much to build really, just to add the flowers in and put a door on the front with some torches. Uh, it's probably overkill on flowers and whatnot. It's just, yeah, I don't know. This is, I like it. I like the way it looks. So yeah, I'm getting my beehives in and uh, then we're on our way basically. So as you can see, the uh, fires, uh, the campfires are below the block and that just means that it can't set anything on fire, but at the same time it gives the smoke for the bees so you can harvest without an issue. Um, so yeah, and then yeah, I just harvest some honeycomb, build a few more hives and breed the bees and we're on our way. So that's it basically, beehive done. Next project. Okay, so getting lots done today, we're moving on to another project, as you probably or possibly recognise, this is my mining tunnel, and down the end here is where I do my wither fight. So we're going to do another one today. Uh, I put the excess sheep down there um, from the leftovers of the wool farm, and bred them up a bit, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, it all blends together after a while. So yeah, we're um, going to basically do another wither fight. So. Yeah, gosh, that's loud. <laughs> Lots more sheep here than I remembered. Anyway, that's good. Give me a few with the roses by the end. I'm planning on once we get to uh, 116, finding a good biome for the uh, with the skeleton set up and all that. I'm not 100% sure, but if I understand correctly, I think it's the uh, Soul Sand Valleys or something. If you can get a fortress in those then you can make a lot of, um, or you can block out most spawns other than wither skeletons and then you end up with a massive opportunity to just get huge amounts of wither skeletons and farm them really quickly and easily. So that's my hope anyway, so I've got to try and figure that one out at some point. Alrighty, so let's get this soul sand in and get this wither spawned. Thank you my friends for the sacrifice, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Again, it's probably a bit cowardly of me to come back all this way, but uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I, I don't care. <laughs> it's hardcore. I'm surviving, that's the main thing. I might do an open battle with a wither one day, but not today, so yeah. Alrighty goes very quickly when you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing when you've got good weapons too, I suppose. Weapons and armor. Armor helps a lot. <laughs> ah, man. I hate this effect. The wither effect is just too... Anyway. A few more hits. And done. Alrighty. That was easy enough again. Okay, let's check out what we got. Uh, spoils of war and all that. Five. Close enough. Like doing torches every five, a bit pedantic, but anyway. Oh my gosh, a sheep survived. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, we'll wall you in just in case we want to do another one one day. Just in case. So, yeah. Alright. Lots of wither roses. Let's see what we end up with. Lots of coloured wool too, of course. Probably gonna have to come back again. Yep, full inventory. But anyway. Alright. Yep, 45 roses. Fantastic. Alright. Well, that'll do that for next project. Okay, last project for today. We are looking at building a section of wall here. This is just a practice spot. I've put the base down obviously already. And yeah, I'm trying to envisage essentially what will be my wall palette because I'm gonna change my cobblestone walls into massive walls. Massive, I don't know. They're not gonna be very big, but they'll be bigger, obviously. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is just to try and figure out what a section of the wall will look like that I'll just copy and paste over and over again to try and um, make it simpler but interesting enough so it's not totally boring. Obviously there's going to be differences in things like, for instance, the corners and the towers and things like this, but for the bulk of it, there's just going to be long slabs of straight wall that I need to try and 
envisage and, and figure out. So yeah, it's sort of, I've got a few blocks here as you can see in my inventory that I want to try and figure out with it. Um, I'm just trying to sort of figure out how high and sort of, I don't know, which block to have where really. Um, like imagining say this was the the level you walk on on top and then we've got a tunnel underneath or something. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. All right, let me chuck on a little bit of a montage as I do some figuring out for this and we'll see what the finished product somewhat looks like. So that's basically the wall done for now, I think. This has definitely been a good test run and I am definitely liking it. The sort of seven blocks high compared to the two blocks of the player is, yeah, I think it's imposing enough. It's sort of without being too huge. Uh, it's got a lot of detail in there, I think, that I'm really appreciating multiple layers and all of that. Um, and just very basic um, palette which means I can add to it so like for instance lighting or something I'll probably add some lamps or something eventually and uh, yeah I think it's just it's just nice I know it's simple um, the tunnel obviously underneath is really cool uh, I plan on having that connected across the base in different ways I've still got to figure that one out but yeah um, I definitely wanted an underground tunnel that goes into sort of the towers and things like that as well as uh, everything else um, and yeah, I think uh, the dark oak, I love that at the top. I'm going to impl implement more dark oak in the uh, towers and things like that. So yeah, it's definitely um, it's definitely looking good in that regard. I'm, I'm loving it a lot. So yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to call it a day there. Lots done in this episode. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, as per usual, leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all the rest if you want to keep me going. And uh, otherwise, uh, we'll catch you again. Uh, again, a heads up, in a week or two, we're going to have the 400 days video. So look forward to that. All right, that'll do everything. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. Mud Stomp.